Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Welcome to another monthly method. Today, I'll be showing you how to use mixed media in your scrapbook journals. So let's get crafting. Now, I love trying different forms of cataloging my memories and thoughts. I'm not opposed to stamping, coloring, using chipboard ephemera, and your good old scrapbook paper. But I want to challenge you to think outside the box and add one more element to your crafting, and that would be mixed media. Now, I'm fully aware that most people don't have elaborate spaces to store and craft to this degree. And that's why I try to keep it simple by using one mixed media element. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use foundry wax. And if you know me, I like to work on a journal, use corresponding papers, and then eventually take whatever I haven't used in the journal and make cards cards and tags and all those wonderful things that will allow you to use up the materials that you purchased. And so what I'm going to show you is how to use this one mixed media element, which is foundry wax, in your cards, in your scrapbook journals, and in your tags. So stay with me, stay tuned, and let's get crafting. Now I'm going to show you several different techniques here using the foundry wax or where you can actually use the foundry wax in your scrapbook journals and cards. And so this will allow you to kind of use it to its full potential. And the first thing I'm going to show you is pretty much the colors. You have these four different types of colors. Foundry wax is quite interesting. It's designed to create a luminous metallic highlight on your porous or non-porous surfaces. So porous would be like wood, paper, and non-porous would be things like your metal embellishments. Now the fluid wax transforms into a, a vibrant metallic finish once you actually apply heat to it. So it's quite an interesting medium because it's wax. And so I want to show you where I actually put this in my scrapbook journals. Now I'm going to pretty much show you how I do this on these postcards because I do use journals and books, but I've recently uh, started doing postcard boxes which is a way to scrapbook and catalog your memories in a different way. So it's not your 12 by 12 mini album or your nine by four, six by five or whatever size journal you have. So I just thought this would be an easy way to showcase these mixed media. So I'm just going to prep one of my postcards for you and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've prepped my neat little postcard that will be placed in this beautiful scrapbook box that I'm going to actually give to my daughter or in an envelope that I can send or mail away. And on the back side of it will be a picture with a space for journaling, just an interesting way to catalog or write a note or a letter to someone. So it's not a card, but it's a postcard. So I, I really want to share this with you. Now, after you've prepped it and it looks the way you want it to look. Again, I've used stamping, stenciling, ephemera, and all these amazing elements to give it that wow factor. But there's one last thing that I want to do. And in this case, we're gonna use these wood sentiments, which is a non-porous material. And I'm going to use one of the foundry waxes here. And there's four different types. There's the gilded color, a sterling color, um, your statue, it's called a statue color, and a mind color. Now the one I'm going to use is the statue color. So make sure you really shake it well. Now you have to apply a few drops of the wax to a craft sheet. In this case, I just used a porcelain plate. Then you apply it to the surface using a dry paintbrush. Then once you've done that, you actually add a little bit of heat to it. Now you want to do this in a well-ventilated area because there's a bit of off-gassing. So make sure you, when you do heat this, if you're by a window, um, then that's the best place to do this. So this is one way to use the foundry wax. Another way to use foundry wax is on non-porous surfaces like this metal embellishment. And this one is from Tim Holtz. All you do is you take another dried brush and you just paint a very light layer of this foundry wax onto this metal embellishment. And then you go ahead and heat it just so that you can uncover that vibrant metallic finish that we saw on the wood embellishment. The great thing with this wax is it's so easy to remove off of your craft mat or here a porcelain plate. 
you can just use a baby wipe or if it starts to harden on you, what I use is an alcohol wipe, which is quite easy and it cleans up quite nicely. Now, isn't this a great way to use mixed media? You don't have to pull out your collage mediums, your crackle paint, your texture paint, or your texture paste, or even your embossing powder to create different looks with this mixed media. Again, I'm, I'm just showing you how you can broaden the use of this mixed media element and just use it across the board without having to pull out all this other stuff. Now, if you've been following me, you're fully aware that I love using paint splashes or paint smears to border a lot of my scrapbook journals or even on this postcard here. I'm obsessed with that stamp. I just love how it just gives you just another element of, of bordering and, and adding background to your stamps. But here I'm going to show you how to use foundry wax. This foundry wax is the gilded color and it's got a bit of a I would say a greenish olive color which I am obsessed with. We're at the tail end of the sage collection that I've been doing for the pretty much majority of this year and it was predominantly olive color and <laughs> I could have I actually should have used this in my scrapbook journal but I didn't so I'm using it in the postcards that I've been creating to finish off the rest of this this journey I guess you could say and so what I like to do is to use this as my little paint splash stamping technique on these postcard journals. And what you do is again, take a dry brush and just, just gently brush it across your card like this. And then once it's heated, oh my gosh, it gives you that beautiful shimmer that you would not otherwise get from your distressed stamps. So again, another way to use foundry wax. If you've liked the tips from this video, make sure you stamp that like button so it can spread to the rest of our crafting community. Thank you. Now here's my question of the day. What do you use to jazz up your scrapbook journals aside from paper, ephemera, and stamping? If you can put that in the comments section below, I would like to know what you use, what your go-to is to add that one more element to give your projects that wow factor. One other place that I loved to use this foundry wax was in the title page for my scrapbook journal box. And using black cardstock is an amazing way of showcasing these colors. So again, make sure you shake them well. I forgot to shake this one, but it's, I think it's still pretty good. It's still pretty shaken from the last time that I used it. So I look at foundry wax or this series of scrapbook medium as almost a replacement for your embossing powder. As we all know, embossing powder is messy, but this one, you're skipping the whole powder situation and you're not getting that mess that you normally get. So I'm just taking again another dry brush and then painting the foundry wax on this black cardstock. Do you see how beautiful that is? And then once you heat it up, it just, again, gives you that beautiful shimmer that um, a lot of your embossing powders will give you without the mess. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in other scrapbooking techniques or other ways to add interest to your scrapbook journals, then make sure you watch this collection of videos that I have at the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and we'll see you in my other videos. Bye.